Hello again. Thank you so much for dropping by again. In this episode, it's all about changing the level of what we're currently playing. Right now, we're running around in a gray box, and that just gets so boring, doesn't it? Let's just go and see where we are right now, because it is quite far into the project. We've got the basic functionality sorted already. We can run around with the Sinti character in our gray demo level, which is great. We can bring up a menu. We can change the character depending on what our preference is. If we want to have a businessman Man in a suit or a businesswoman or policewoman or policeman we can change this guy's outfit so far that is seriously cool now he looks like an elderly security guard here perhaps and we can even change his skin tone if we want to have him white hispanic or black this is very cool and we can do this in any outfit and so this is you know this is how far we've come this is already our character selector gone and gone technically we're done with our project if this is all you wanted to do perfect um thank you for dropping by again i'd like to do something else namely put this guy out of his misery and walking around in the gray box and making sure he can run around in the actual sinti levels and that is something i'd like to bolt on to the menu on the right here that i have a little level selector here that that goes and says um day level night level and perhaps a quit option might be a good idea so let's let's bolt that on now and finish off our project nice and nice and easy. There's a lot of other stuff to do, but this is what we're going to do in this episode. So the levels that I'm talking about, that is, those are hiding in my case under the Polygon City maps. And there's a demonstration level, that's the day level. And then there's the demonstration evening level. And we can open them up to see what they look like. It might Unreal Engine might take a little bit of time when that happens for the first time, but those are things that, that come with this particular set, the Polygon City. Not every Sinti pack comes with a variety of levels. They usually come with two, which is one is the demonstration level, which is something like this, and one is the overview, which shows you every item in the pack just by itself. But in the demo levels, they've put them together into something that could be used as a level. There's usually more work to be done, so this is not meant to be used as a as a whole level that you just put in your game and you know sell it for 60 bucks on the epic store it's not, not quite what that's meant for but uh, so yeah this is just a demonstration of what you could build out of the assets and then you know you, you get on with designing your own level so that's that and there's also a demonstration evening level we can go and load that one as well just to see what that's like there we go it rains that's nice lighting needs to be rebuilt that's all that's all cool i'm going to go and make myself a couple of copies of those so with control uh, left click I'm going to select both of these and then either hit control W to make a copy or right click and make that happen on with these two selected I'm going to go drag those over into my own template down here move them over here that might take a while as well there's a lot of stuff to copy I'm going to rename them and put them into a kind of a new folder here I think as well yeah, in the maps folder. There we go. So I'm going to go and copy those two or move those two over into my maps folder. That's my plan. Should have really done that in the first place, shouldn't I? <laughs> I'm doing that so that I can retain the original levels and then make some amendments of my own. So under map levels, we now have the third person example map, which is kind of the default gray box, which I think I might leave as the default gray box. And the demonstration level, I'm going to go and rename that one into day map, whoops, without any special characters. And the demonstration evening, I'm going to go and rename into night map. F2 will make that editable night map there we go and this one i'm just going to leave at third person example map since we are already in the night map i'm going to go and add something to the level that i don't think is currently in here namely a player start nope no player start in there so a player start is this thing it's it's an object that you can pick from here you can either search for it or you can sometimes under basics it, it shows up here you can also just search for it that's a thing that you just drag into the level and depending on where you want that to be like i'm going to put that here uh, this is essentially where the player character would be spawned so you can adjust that you can rotate that around maybe i'll just go and, and put that here next to the bench i not not necessarily um you know, on, on top of a car or whatnot. Why is this a bad size? Don't make this a bad size. It's not a bad size. What are you talking about? Let's go delete it and drag another one in. It's totally not a bad size. It's a good size. There, perfect size, right? Awesome stuff. There. Unreal Engine sometimes. One of those things. 
So that's where I'd like my player start to be in the evening level. I could even go and make other amendments. I could put, you know, Unreal Guy in here since we still have him under Blueprints. Let's put Unreal Guy next to the hot dog stand. So, you know, maybe then Unreal Guy is in charge of the hot dog stand. That's, that's kind of, I, I like the idea. I like the idea of him being in charge of the hot dog stand. He's kind of buried in the floor, so I can go lift him up a little bit. I can hold shift down if I want to move with him. This is a nice little level building trick. Hold something, hold the shift key down, then move something, and then the whole camera moves with you. That's kind of nice. Uh, hit the end key on your keyboard, and then he'll drop to the floor. There, he makes hot dogs now. That's that's nice. That's cool. That's all I really want to do here. And then I'm going to go back into my maps folder and do the same on my day map. Yes, save selected. Good idea. I'm also getting the message that the lighting needs to be rebuilt. We can do that in a moment. There we go. Uh, I'm going to go and grab another player start and put that maybe in the same position. Or maybe, maybe I'm going to put that here. There. Nice. F will focus in on that and you can you can have a look if that's a that's a good position for your start. And only when you have a player start in your level you can hit the play key and then this level will be played. That's nice. So now we can go and run around in this level and also bring up our menu and then you know change characters and all that. Now all we need is a couple of buttons that let's select which level we'd like to go into. There is, while we're here, while we're in the day level, there's just one little change I'd like to make. And for me, this is, I understand this is a sunny day, but I think it's a little bit hot. It's a little bit blown out. I think this is a bit too bright for my liking. And I'd like to change that, just dim that down so that we don't see, everything appears to be very blown out. And that is not actually the light source. That is so bright that is something called the post-process volume in this level. And that's the thing in Unreal Engine that lets you let's see if I can demonstrate it. If we walk into a darker level like here, we would see things relatively underexposed. But watch what happens when you walk into it. The whole exposure is being raised to a certain level. And then if we go into a sunny area again, then things are very overexposed. Look at the pavement here. And that is now being kind of dimmed down slowly again to another kind of default level. And it's those default levels that are a little bit hot in here, in photographic terms. <laughs> so I'm going to go and uh, have a look up here, make sure nothing is is in the search bar. And I'm going to search for, because this is a really, really long thing here. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'm going to go look for post-process volume. There it is. And when you select that uh, at the bottom here there's all kinds of things that we can set and all i really need to do with this selected here with the post process volume selected all i need to do is go under the lens setting here under details that's that's the other one details then lens settings under exposure if i find this little tick box that says exposure compensation tick that and make sure it says zero here there we go. That'll now make the level less hot. You can adjust it to maybe 0.5 or something, but I think zero is a good start so that we can still see some of the level. I just don't want everything to be so blown out. There, now I can actually see the texture on the floor here. I can see my character a little bit better. And yeah, I think this is more this is more to my liking. There's still exposure compensation in the shadows and from when I come back to the light, but it's not as extreme anymore. So there we go. That's one change I quickly wanted to make before we get on with making sure our menu shows up here that we can actually select the level. So to make that happen, let's go back to our selection menu and add a couple of buttons to the whole horizontal box here. Let's go and select our, our policeman guy here and go select that button down here. And all we need to really do is duplicate that button with Control w Maybe just once. Now we have two policemen. Not quite what we wanted. On the second policeman, first of all, we're going to go and name that something else. So from uh, button character 9, we're going to go and name that button day level. Just so that we have a reference to it. And then, of course, we need to go and make sure that the policeman is no longer on there. So we'll go and select his image in the hierarchy here. 
make sure it's not the button, it's the image that we're concerned about, and hit delete. And that now shrinks this thing down to just a button with the same background that we've previously had. So instead of a picture, I would just like to have some text on here. And that's here, just under common. You can also search for text and that'll that'll bring it right up. And you can just go drag that text onto the day level button, just so that it's kind of, you know, on top of it slash underneath it. It kind of goes and parents itself underneath it. That's exactly what we want. It just is called text block. That's fine. It might not be the font and the size that we want, but we can quickly change that. With the text selected, head over here to the content tab under the details panel. There's a content section and that says text block. And if we over type that with just day, then that'll do that. Or maybe we'll just go, let's, let's say day in, in all uppercase. How's that? Day is good or lowercase. I can't tell. Day nine, maybe, maybe, maybe uppercase. I like uppercase. There we go. That's that. You can change the font. Under font, you'll find a different font or a different size for the font. So we can make that. I don't know. Make that, make that forty if we wanted. That might be that might be groovy. Or we're gonna call it, make that thirty-four. Something like that. You know, just so that it says day here. That's nice. So that'll be a button for the day level. Or if you have a funky icon for that, feel free to use that. I'm going to go and duplicate that one again as well. Button day level now has the correct font. I'm going to go and hit Control W with it selected. And that gives us another day button that I'm aptly going to name button night level. And then, of course, the text shouldn't say day twice. It should now say night. And while we're here, I would also like for users to have an option to leave our game if they don't want to play anymore. So we can hook that up to the escape key or we can hook that up to a button. It's entirely up to you. I might just go use a button while we're in the menu kind of mood. And I'm going to go and uh, control W that night button again. Go select that second button and call that button quit. While we're here in the menu. And the text, I want to just call that quit in just like uppercase and lowercase. There we go. And thanks to the horizontal box that we're using, the menu is already aligned. We don't have to really worry about that. If we go into our game now and play this and bring this menu up again, it'll just, it'll just uh, appear nicely aligned, still at the bottom, still in the middle. We don't have to fiddle with that thanks to the horizontal box. So that's what, that, what, that hap what, what made that possible. So now we have these buttons here, including the quit button, but they don't do anything. All these buttons seem to do stuff, but the day and night buttons don't really do anything. I'm assuming for this example that we're still going to start in the gray box and that users can then go and press the day or night button, depending on their preference, just for this demo. So let's hook these things up. That is also in the selection menu, and this time again in the graph here. We can just use the regular event graph for that. There's the, these uh, functions are so small that we probably don't need a whole separate graph for that. Just like before, we're going to find our new button. So button day level and click on on clicked. That'll create that event that should be executed when someone clicks on that button. And while we're here, let's go and drag the other ones out as well. So the night level and then there's also the quit level here. The, sorry, quit level, quit button here. <laughs> there. So for the for loading the levels, there's actually a node for that, so we don't have to write a function for this or anything. Not at the moment, anyway. And it's the open level node. It takes not a string, it takes a name. And that name needs to be equivalent to whatever our maps are called. So mine's called day map and the other one is called night map. And that's really all we need to provide here just in, in text form. So day map. And then the same thing for the night level. We're just going to go and say open level. Hook that one up to night map. Make sure you spell it correctly, because otherwise, if you misspell this, Unreal Engine is just going to crash and throw up an error message and say, can't load this thing. Sorry about that. And that's really it. 
So that will load our levels for now. We're going to come back to this logic and amend that a little bit. And while we're here hooking up buttons, let's also go and hook up the quit button, which is an equally super simple function, which is just called quit or quit game rather. There's quit game, quit match. We need quit game. So that will, if you have a standalone packaged product that people don't can't stop in the editor with with just with the escape key if that's a playable project then the the only way to get out of it would be to open the task manager otherwise and quit the process and with this here we can just give them a clean exit so that will then go and um, exit the game let's see if it actually works shall we and also highlight a couple of flaws that we can see here so we haven't started in the gray map but we are we will we will see what happens when we just go into the night map here click on it and nothing crashes oh man what happened here that's unfortunate isn't it what happened this is not supposed to happen it has loaded the level but it looks like we're not actually at the right position here hmm. has it ignored our player character <laughs> our player start rather that's uncool let's go open our night map Let's see if there's something fishy here. Maybe it hasn't saved the um, the player start. That is definitely possible. I'm glad we're playtesting this. Is Unreal Guy in the level? No, Unreal Guy isn't in the level either. See? He's not here. The player start isn't here. That's what happens when there's no player start. Terrible stuff. Let's have a look. No, no player start. Terrible. I'm outraged. We made that happen. You saw me do it. What's going on? I'm gonna go put my player start here. We had the discussion about, whoops, we had the discussion about the actor size and all that bad actor size, whatever. I think that happens when I just move this thing. Does it happen then? No, it's all good. I've also dragged Unreal Guy in, didn't I? Who was in charge of the hot dogs? Let's make that happen as well. I want Unreal Guy to be, to be standing over here. There, because I think that's, you know, that's, that's, just, that's just cute. If Unreal Guy is here and uh, tells us, hey, how's it going? That'd be that'd be nice. Yeah, there we go. He's in charge of the hot dogs. Maybe maybe goes and greets us. The hot dog stand, don't be alarmed, folks. The hot dog stand is a little bit large, <laughs> but that's okay. He's still a little bit, looks like he's buried there. So I'll lift him up, press the end button, and that kind of drops him onto the floor. I'll save the current something we should do every once in a while just save all <laughs> and now we're in the night level let's go see what happens when we play it oh we have a we have a unreal guy still selected here let's make sure this he's unselected let's go play that go press f11 and now unreal guy he's in charge of hot dogs that's nice good stuff we can change our outfit that's nice we can still change our character and we can hopefully change the level aha Day level. Awesome. Now we can go back and forth between the day level and the night level. That is nice. But of course, watch what happens if for the to the for the keen observer, there's a flaw that just happened here. When I left the night level, I wasn't the green lady with the Hispanic skin tone. I was the guy in the in the you know in the business shirt here. I was this guy, quite clearly. Let me be the police officer in the blue outfit with the black skin tone. Awesome. I can run around. Everything is good. What happens when I go into the night level? Oh dear. I'm, I'm the green lady again. Hey, this is uncool. What's happened? Well, what's happened is that our variables haven't saved over through the level load. The levels change just fine, including the amendments that we've made. But what hasn't changed is the character. So our local character variables have not been saved or they, well, if they have been overwritten and they have not been taken across the level load. And that is a little flaw that I'd like to address in our next episode, where we're going to learn about something called the game instance. And that is another object. It's a bit like the game mode, but it survives a level load. It's essentially created when your game starts and it remains there. We can grab a reference to it and store all our values in there. So we're going to learn about that in the next episode. Join me for that, if you will.